Will the Nar marshals now please escort to the stage members of the family of Imet Carmela Zengien, upon whom the Master of Arts will be prepared. Every year, thousands of young people come to John Jay College of Criminal Justice to pursue their dreams, to pursue their passions for justice, to learn about the world in a different sort of way, to merge their academic interests with their personal and professional interests, and they leave here committed to making the world a better place. Over 10 years ago, one such person who came to John Jay and lit up our campus was a young woman in her early 20s named Imet Sankian. She came to study in our master's program. She wanted to change the criminal justice system. She wanted to be a fierce advocate for justice. Those dreams were not meant to be for Imet because 10 years ago, February 2006, she was murdered. Her murder galvanized our campus shook our community, but it also galvanized the city. We wanted to do something in her honor. We set up a memorial scholarship, and two institutions came to join the cause. The Daily News launched a campaign to raise money. ABNY, the Association for Better New York, joined with the Daily News and joined with us. And what we saw was this outpouring of support for a scholarship that would continue her memory, continue her work, we raised over $300,000. And so today, we now every year award the Met St. Gideon Scholarship to a student in her program, the Masters in Criminal Justice, to help them continue their studies, but also to help them understand what she wanted to do and why they were working for justice in her honor. The scholarship all allowed for me to intern with the National Network for a year rather than a few short months, where I learned a great deal of information that just could not be learned from textbooks. This real-world experience enabled me to learn more about the cities around the country and the criminal justice issues they all individually face on a daily basis. Even after graduation, that internship has impacted my life, as it has helped me gain employment within the field of criminal justice. I work uh, with a nonprofit national organization called Center for Employment Opportunities, and we provide employment services for men and women on probation and parole or with criminal justice involvement. Currently, I'm the director of our national offices. I teach on the Pinkerton Fellowship class in youth justice. I've just come back from Rwanda, where I was overseeing a study uh, of genocide heirs, so genocide perpetrators. I'm working on a technical assistance project with Jamaica. I'm working with a female re-entry residential program in Brooklyn. So I think that the, the receiving the scholarship kind of it kick-started my career and kind of really solidified my passion for working um, in justice settings. So I work for the district, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office as a prosecutor. So it helped me finish my degree here at John Jay. It's what catapulted me into the, where I am now, which is exactly where I wanted to be. The scholarship impacted my career at John Jay by pushing me every day to do my very best. Anytime I felt like I couldn't go on or I wanted to cut a corner, I had to remind myself that my time here was forever tied to a bed. I currently work at CNN, and recently, about six months ago, I took a job at the documentary unit. And we do a lot of uh, criminal justice focused stories as well. I wanted to really earn the right to have the scholarship. And so I, I studied harder, I took on more um, extracurricular activities. I, I just wanted to embody who Emmet was. Since receiving the scholarship and working at Safe Horizon, going to law school, doing the work that I do now where I'm prosecuting crime, a lot of the time there are victims associated with that. You know, it just sort of indirectly has kind of mushroomed out, I guess, and affected so many people. 
and I'm just one of the recipients. In a way, the scholarship kind of brought me full circle um, and served as a reminder to me that there's a need to take a, a holistic view um, when we're approaching criminal justice issues and both dealing with the aftermath of it. I was ultimately interested in criminal justice, particularly violence against women and intimate partner violence. And so receiving the scholarship now had given me a deeper purpose. I knew where I was going and it was tunnel vision for working with men and women, individuals, different organizations, so that these things don't happen. So this is my chance, our chance, on behalf of Emet, on behalf of her family to say thank you to those champions of justice who made it possible through their donations, large and small, to this fund to continue the work that she started here. I'd like to thank them very much for believing me when I was at the very early stages of my studies here. Words just simply cannot begin to explain how much the scholarship has helped me, as I do not think I would be where I am today if it were not for it. I would like to thank the family for not only what the scholarship has done for me, but what it has done for every participant in the past and for what it will do for those in the future. Your daughter's name, her legacy, it's affected people's lives in such a positive way. It's changed lives. I'm one of those people. And I try, and I'm sure I can speak for other people who have won this award, to embody the spirit of who she was in the choices that I make. 10 years ago, if their intention was to set up a scholarship to honor and that honor her life in a way that her legacy continued, they've succeeded. And they've succeeded not just because of recipients like myself or the others that have followed. They've succeeded honoring her legacy through the hundreds of people that we've touched and that have been touched by her story. It's tragic that Emet couldn't do this work herself, but how fortunate we are that so many are able to continue this work in her name. Thank you.